engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, stupid. <laughs> uh, all that. Yeah, it still set the capsule specific. Come on. I really should just start resetting these every time after a stream. Uh, come on, is that... Yeah, we're, we're having a bit of a fail start again. <laughs> I should just get another splitter for this stupid thing to have this thing constantly plugged in instead of having to plug it in and out. Okay. And now, finally... Hello everyone, uh, anyone who may be watching now, later on on YouTube, Helene here, along with... Helibob! No, wait, no, it's Drakir! And welcome back to Let's Stream Bloodstained Rachel of the Night. Uh, yeah. yeah, last time we had quite a bit of fun with this. Uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a big step up from Blood Omen 2. <laughs> yeah, um, do you want to tell me something? Of all the games we've been streaming, this is one of those I'm being extra excited for, for some reason. Probably because it's a spiritual successor to the Castlevania series, or maybe because it's the most uh, high-quality one we've probably had. Maybe. I think it just make the game just, actually just gave me a very good first impression. Okay. Uh, yeah. Enough talk, though. Let's continue on. And hopefully the music is a bit softer in the game itself, because it, um, for both of us, is drowning the other out a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the elf ears and the, the hat. Okay, last time we started this game, and as you can see, quite uh, high on the graphics. And I ran right into that. Okay, let's see, there's a chest here. I did not mean to jump down. Uh, yeah, last time we started the game, got into this castle, which is not Castlevania, but it's a castle all the same. We met the main villain, and apparently he has a book that someone else, who we are going to meet again in a bit here, also wants. Uh, there's the upper area there, we should check that out again. And I should probably Google the name of that book in case if that book is a reference to something. See, ammo capacity up. You got that as well that first time. Uh, away with you. Oh dear, it's the dentist knight. Can it actually. Okay, it can reach behind it and <laughs> new attack. Right off the bat on the first kill. Heretical grinder. Extend the shaft of rotating blades in a designated direction. So <laughs> we are now the dentist. <laughs> every Castlevania to break every light source in sight. And this one. Oh yeah, this one showed a special attack, though we haven't been able to figure out how to pull any of these off. Helicus, yeah, I think those are axes. Yeah, probably double handed handed ones. Yeah, uh, for, I think I saw an axe with Pelicus uh, name on. Yeah, in the bird. crafting last week. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think I saw it. Yep, yeah. <laughs> because we were interacting, we were vulnerable for a moment. <laughs> And I immediately blow that by getting hit, of course. Where's this pesky thing coming up? Is it coming back up? Yes. Apparently not. Out. I guess you... wait. Did you scare a ghost to death? I very much doubt that. Okay, that's this thing again. Would that be a sight? And I completely <laughs> forgot about that one. <laughs> Oh, ah, here we go again. We've already seen this one, so 
Uh, we can. Can we skip this? Yeah, we can skip it this. It can't be. Yeah, bas basically, for people who haven't seen the last one, this apparently is the uh, leader or former leader of the Alchemist Guild who, well, literally released Hell on Earth. And he's after the book that the main uh, bad guy in this game has. So, yeah, we want it so that neither of them has that stupid book. Alfred, how are you still alive? He poofs off. I came here because something didn't feel right, but I didn't expect him. Yeah, yeah, go back, Jonah. <laughs> now this time. Uh, that, oh, come on, <laughs> just clip me. That one less. Yeah, I'm sucking right now, I know what we can... We can head back to the save station if needed. Or actually, when we need it. <laughs> because we're going to need it eventually. Yeah! And let's see, we can't get up there yet. Or over there, to the left. So, this way it is. Probably should... Yeah, I'm going... I should head back <laughs> and heal. At least I'm getting better at dodging all of these little bastards. And yeah, the, the only complaint so far is that uh, Miriam moves a bit slowly. Miriam being, well, the main character here. Well, most enemies move as fast as you, if not slower anyway, so... But, but beside the bats... Yeah. So they... It would make sense to be a bit tricky to dodge a flying bat. Uh, just for clarification, I'm playing with the gamepad again. Yo, oh, come on, all three of those miss! <laughs> and another level up. Uh, with every level, we seem to be getting a tiny bit of maximum health and deal more damage. So eventually, we could just grind out a lot more extra health to <laughs> not suck as much or to make up for the fact that I suck <laughs> so far at least yeah so, uh, you do get rewarded sort of for not skipping enemies see there's there is actually a point for me to attack that thing because I think there's we have a bounty for them and somehow it didn't hit us when we it jumped on top of us pretty much. It was already dead. We fell on you. Now we hit it again after that. Okay. Uh, just send out the bats from this guy. <laughs> okay, that was easy enough. Yep, and uh, you killed two of them. Yeah. Only and we need to kill one more dog. From what I saw earlier, at least. Uh, that reminds me, actually. I should move this. Come on, let me select it. No, not that. That over here. So people can actually see what pops up in there. And so far, nothing really has shown up in here. Though it will, of course, be a bit awkward with me looking the other way <laughs> compared to the rest of the screen. <laughs> actually, can I flip that? Prob it's probably an option, but let's deal with the flying pigs instead first. Oh. Oh. Okay, where was that arrow sticking out of there for a moment? <laughs> uh, good question! Wait, HP? Oh, yeah, hollow point rounds. For some reason, in the post industrial. Germany or something, they have hollow point bullets. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, did 
this game has been, or so far the region has been uh, using a lot of Germanic uh, styles. Uh, I guess no, they did say they came from England. So this entire thing is happening all over in Europe. So you have some points there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's this guy again, who we can't help, because his path is blocked by a statue or something, and we can't reach up there yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's up here? Okay, another bookcase. Let's see. Several months have passed since I wandered into the castle. I have managed to survive thus far by rummaging through treasure chests without the monsters taking notice. Will I find something pal palatable today? For once, I'd like to crack a chest open and find a much watering hunk of meat. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that's uh, joking at you know, cast the original Castlevania's where you could find. Okay, that's a lot of red. <laughs> where you could find uh, just cooked meats in chests and then even in the wall. And okay, why is that thing following us? It is. Not the moon. There's something here. What is it? Okay, those are health ups. Uh, okay, that's just going to lead back into the previous room, so no real need to go down. There is a chamber that we skipped, though. Nope, and I... Okay, I did not get hurt by these things. I, I can just walk over them with, uh, before they snap shot, at least. That That is going to be something. You can bat your ass, that will be something. Is that a fire moon? It's like, it's like a blood moon that's very close. Yeah, I wasn't in blood mode, but then I noticed that it looked like it looked like it was on fire. That that was easy. <laughs> Two bats took it out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck happened? I don't think my brain registered what the heck had just happened. Uh, I used the <laughs> I used the bat spell to to try throw some damage that way. But apparently the bats alone killed the dentist knight. <laughs> okay. Well, that happens when you blink twice, and you miss a lot. Okay. Let's take a look down now, in case we miss anything here. Okay, toads. Hostile toads. That might. I think I got the. I heard a hit on one <laughs> toad there. Wait, the toad's tongues are hanging out? My little bastards. Ed. Okay, the hell is this going to give? Release toad. Release a toad in the desert. I get the feeling that might be a bit of a joke power, because those things weren't moving very fast. Okay, come on, Porky. Toad I of Obsidian Equipment slash R? What? Oh, th th I'm guessing that must be... Uh, recipes to be made? Or Maybe. schematics and come. Okay, bats to all of you. Okay, it it seems to, it seems to take extra damage from those. So yeah, it's <laughs> those knights are vulnerable to the, whatever damage the bats are causing. And another one. <laughs> so, oh, come on, <laughs> another summon. Oh. It, okay, I sort of saw that coming, but how do we get rid of this thing then? 
And we probably have to push it out from the other way. So this is basically one big one-way door. It, it looks like you should be able to just walk past that. Uh, yeah, I just walked right into it <laughs> and got hurt. A war horse's key is required. Okay, at least it tells you. Uh, no, at least gives a hint of sorts. But it, it's not really a hint when it outright tells you you need this. Not that it tells you where you need to get that, of course, because, well, it's Castlevania. It, it, it wouldn't be Castlevania like without exploration. Give me a second to see if I can flip this somehow. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Order? No. Transform. Flip horizontally? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now I also know that for the future. Not that it makes too much difference in what sides my face is on. Not that I'm... <laughs> I'm not narcissistic enough to really care about that much. I don't want to even know because I can't see your face at the moment. Okay. Okay, I like how... Oh, I, I thought that would have killed them. I like how these archers actually aim at you and don't just shoot in a straight line. Yeah, and they also try to be in themselves. Tricky to hit. See where? So, yeah, they know they are archers. They know they're not supposed to be up close. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, not you again. Uh, we could drop down here for that chest, but we'd have to go all the way back around. <laughs> Uh, oh, hello, doggy. Bye, doggy. And that's four of, out of those, four of those slain. And hello yet again. And goodbye yet again. You should probably investigate what the damage those are do. Uh, let's see. Does it actually show in the archives what things are vulnerable to? Oh, yes, it does. Let's see. Then it's the Blood Brandon Knight. And yeah. let's see. Minus 25 Holy, I presume. Minus 25 I think... Electric and Blunt. So basically. So one, one of those here takes basically. Yeah, 50% more. Okay, we could test it on a Bone Morte later to see if those also get a lot more damage from the bats. Oh, wait. Let's go to the urinal and also see if you can see what that is the bat spell do. Uh, let, me, let me identify what all those markings mean. Okay, this is what we were looking for last time at the end. <laughs> Our first war points. Yay! Okay, so now we have a safe place to travel back and forth here. Uh, oh, and immediately we can test out the bats oh yeah they are definitely dealing blunt damage then though with those teeth you would expect them to <laughs> deal piercing damage maybe but they all run a big around yeah fat bats are dealing fat blunt damage <laughs> yeah and they have quite big mobs they filled back up. Let's see. We found something about obsidian armor or equipment. So, what will it be? So, does that mean that we can? It doesn't look like it. Or wait, there's no. That's the thing we found earlier. It deals more damage, so we should ex equip that in a bit. And I can't really tell how many of these are new. Or if there are uh, any... Or did from what, what I see... I think many are. <laughs> Cowboy hat? <laughs> Increases the power of firearms. Okay. Uh, yeah, there do seem to be a lot more things here now. So I'm guessing... 
Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that obsidian stuff got added in this. Hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I guess that as you found more uh, items, more items uh, becomes available for crafting. Since, yeah, it makes sense that you won't even know to what to make unless you have something to go by. Bunny scarf, a scarf with a rabbit motive that is certain to get you hopping. That one that smells like it. Hmm. What if it does improve your hopping? It it, could, it might give a, a jump boost. I'm guessing. We'll we'll see if we ever make it. Yeah, for so far they'd be surprising us with you know the mask, the hat, the ears. Yeah, th those haven't had an actual effect yet, except for the stats, but. It might it be cute at the very least. Yeah, but it, I think the biggest surprise was that they actually gave us visual uh, something that it, as it, it appeared on the body actually. Yeah, and I don't see anything that uses small webbing as well, so we can make these. All right. There. Again, All I'm, I'm happy the developers did that extra uh, few steps to add those visually. Just, okay. oh, dedication. But uh, there's the pedicus. Yeah, we saw this last time as well. Double-headed great axe, originally designed for harvesting wood. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm just going to uh, s <coughs> save our materials for now, because we have only one wood and three bronze, and making one thing is likely to cost us half of that bronze. Uh, yeah. And we're even shorter on iron because we can only make one thing with that. So. Oops. Anything new here? Oh, we, we still don't have any. <laughs> we still don't have any, oh, any rice. About the castle. Mm. It may not be much help, but let me tell you what I know. The castle itself was summoned from hell, demons and all. Okay, <laughs> that's... But the site it rests on is where the Alchemist's Guild once lay. Okay, that's interesting. So you so... may find traces of our facilities intermingled with the rest. Okay, so that's probably going to, that's probably going to be the explanation for uh, things being rather mismatched in areas. So... Yeah, that could explain that we may be you or near England somewhere. Uh, now that you know the hang of you in the Netherlands. I do remember seeing an area dedicated to the study of Eastern mysticism. I don't recall that. Yes. And another of us was researching how to create giant organisms. Anyway, just be mindful of the facility's existence. The knowledge may keep you out of harm's way while you explore. Okay, a little bit of text that's missing. Right. Thank you. There's small things. Uh, let's turn in those quests that we have. Got any targets for me? Yeah. He he doesn't doesn't hear them. Up on the monsters. Good work. Here's your reward. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Good work. Okay, she's just going to say the same thing. Okay, some armor. Got any oh, really nice. Good and obsidian. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look here, actually. Ah, obsidian re equipment. Do we have to? We can't use that. Okay, so is that... Our alchemist friend didn't want that, or didn't accept it, at least at the moment, so... Maybe it did unlock that stuff already, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we can look at uh, read it up later, if this uh, does not explain to us at all how to use that book. Yeah, we'll Maybe it's unlocked later, but for now, we have quite a bit of work to s stuff to actually work with. 
Uh, yeah, we got that from the flying ones, the Aelos, I think they were called. Aelo, yeah. Yeah. It makes me want to pronounce it like, like, like a Scandinavian. Aelo. Oh, hello! <laughs> I hope you're ready to loosen those purse strings. What are you up to? Okay, you're you're just standing around oh. <laughs> being cute. Yeah. I have something new to offer you. I think they'd be already somewhere in, what in, are you in to UK. Say? So I see he's speaking English as well. But mm -hmm. Good point. And yeah, UK do what have a lot of islands. Uh, let's see, these old weapons I could sell, but I could also break them down for materials. But for now, let's stick to them. Let's see. Oh, this this is this is a lot better than what we have. Yeah. What are you looking to buy? I think I thought they actually added proper detail about the brigandine, and that's where I could imagine brigandine is the reason that studded uh, studded uh, leather armor became a thing by mistake. Okay. Well, here's the thing. When you look at brick and diamond, you see something made of either cloth or hide with a lot of metal studs. And you may just think of, oh, it's decorated with the metal studs. No. The metal studs are holding metal pit plates behind them. Okay, so basically a sort of early bulletproof vest. Yeah, and actually more cheap. It was very popular for. It was more affordable than full plate armor, armor and easier to repair. Here's your share. Ten corn. So, okay, that's nice. a, that's a good harvest. Uh, let's plant the rice next. Sure, I'll get to work. And also, here's the other thing. Many people like Bergenard for website for being cheap and strong. It was very fashionable. What the? Uh, just paused the game. Just got asked <laughs> by someone uh, on Discord what I'm streaming. So just sending them an answer. Give me almost a heart attack. For when you pause, it really pauses here. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, moving on. But yeah, they imagine when D and D made the game, they probably took Greek and Dine to just be leather armor when it's not. At least, yeah, leather with a lot of weight behind. Okay, we could probably try and make something, but let's first explore around a bit more. And they totally could have got uh, gone with. Miriam not wearing shorts there for an easy panty shot every time. Yeah, that, I, I respect that. I respect that she wears that for that. A little bit more warmer to wear under. Let's see. Well, I mean, man, man, you like panty shot as every other person. I can respect the uh, choice, but at any rate, yeah, just it would be extremely oh, oh, oh. it would be extremely cheap to, to have that happen at every time. Uh, but yeah, it would also just make everyone playing this or uh, the people who made this look like absolute perverts. Though yeah. you can bet your ass that there is at least one mod to actually make that a panty shot. I would not be surprised. But so far, I feel like it's you know, those uh, underwear or whatever you can call those. I, I think. I think the wait. It was actually called bloomers. I think so. Oop. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it makes sense for the time period. Yeah, and well, if you're going to walk around cold areas in just a skirt, uh, you want something a bit more for warmth. 
And I completely missed the point there. Wait. Um... I just thought that I can very be concerned if it up. Mm -hmm. Melted bone? Or melting yeah, I bone? I think so. It's a melting skull. Let's have a quick little look. Yeah, melting, melting skull. Yeah, melting bone and melting skull. Oh, that should be both right. <laughs> yeah, that's what those uh, those bone mortes have been dropping. <laughs> Come at me, scarecrow. I wasn't actually aiming for that thing, <laughs> because I was looking at Piggy over here. Bye-bye. Piggy has you. Okay. Let's just continue upwards. I'll f on our way back, I'll just get whatever is in that chest. Uh, so we don't have to keep running circles around. Just to try and get something that might not be even really be worth the time. Okay, so those guys drop both steel and iron. Or can drop that. Okay, so we have candidate for steel farming. Uh, maybe not farming, but we know which targets to kill for that. Yeah, not heck. I still don't find it really weird to use the term farming, like, let's farm for iron. This does not make sense to me. See. I'm thinking these guys probably drop something that we want for armor. Demon Dog Fang? No, I in the crafting system I saw something about hounds uh, skins. And oh, hello. Yeah, I remember that as well. That owl. True arrow. Okay, that, that's going to be an aimed one, I'm guessing. Let's take a look. Wait, we can aim the pig? <laughs> Bone toss released... Uh, just for the... Just for the shits and giggles. Uh, I have to remember, you have learned a passive crystal. So you haven't equipped it yet, unless you lost it when you died once. Okay, that, that toad one is just an absolute joke. What about the piggy? And yeah, we didn't... We got that af uh, between when we... Uh, saved and died, or last... We didn't save after we got that one. Now let's see. What is the pig? Okay, just a living pinball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks useful. In the right circumstance. Okay, silence. That typically means bad. So let's let's go with that arrow. Stop right there. Criminal scum? <laughs> uh, Skyrim. Now, Oblivion. What? I know what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah. And what am I to make of you? Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, hello, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. Some gets you. The Shadow can play us after the finish the game. Uh, let's keep our distance because he he damages a lot. Yep. Probably best to keep our distance, mostly. Nope. Or that happens. No better than a demon pawn. 
Okay, we lost some progress there. But not an extreme amount, not as much as last time. Uh, let's try to be at full health when we enter there next time. Yeah, and uh, maybe more health to begin with, give us the last kill up. Uh, yeah, I should probably just start using these as well in there. Uh, let's see. We didn't lose... No, we lost the arrow shard. And... Hmm. I'm not seeing anything yet about shard corruption. So, either that is a hidden thing, or that's going to be uh, active later. Yeah, and it might be too early on for it to be active. Yeah, it it might be a bit. It would be a bit uh, front loading with mechanics. Like you have to ease uh, players into stuff like uh, that if it's going to pop. If it's going to play a big role. Yeah. And yeah, let's just heal up. Ignore this jackass. And head straight into the boss fight. Uh, before I forget, uh, equipment and Morningstar deals more damage. Yeah, so th we're taking this thing. It look, looks like it has a, even more reach. Even stop right there. It's like Dante from Devil May Cry and Shadow the, he the Hedgehog had a child or something. Oh, I think it's a ghost. Okay, he has a counter attack. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to hit and run. Ah, uh, yeah, that taunt is to lure us into attacking him in for that. So let's just jump over you. And or not. I almost jumped into that. And I, I ran into that one. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, how Killian? No. I just... The more we fight him, the more... Well, the more the people watching are probably going to get annoyed. But the better I'll understand his uh, patterns as well. Let's see. Do we have anything better to equip? No. I was going to say, try to gear and skill up a bit more, perhaps? And let's let's try and avoid uh, grinding for now. Uh, let's go for direct attack with these. Yeah, I wouldn't say do all our grinding. But there's like a finish of the quest and touch. Do have it? All the quest? I don't I don't think we have any let's see. Dollar hammers we could go hunt for, but yeah, then we'd have to run circles all around this place. So let's just see if uh, th third time's the charm. Oh. And yeah, bosses in Castlevania likes, or Metroidvania, as you could also say, are supposed to be tough bastards. So this makes full sense. And that one went straight up the ass. Out of, out of mana. Ah, jump right into that one. Let's get over you, get some space. Oh. Raised at that. Uh, you come to me. 
Oh, eh, almost dead. Yeah, this backstab ability is going to help us quite a lot. Because it gives us distance from him. If that isn't too much. Wait out. Yeah, that's new. How did we accidentally get a double hit earlier? Okay, that's also new. Yep. Okay, so those attacks become full on AoEs. Okay then, fourth time to charm. <laughs> I think we are missing something here. Uh, wait. He used fire attacks. Uh, he might be Von Wolf to water then. In theory. If yeah. you're lucky. I'm guessing okay. a toad would deal water damage. Yeah, wait, Ingrid, increase cover. They do. To Is it tells the toads are explosive? Maybe. Ah. Yeah, we'll have to find out. For now, though. Okay, how. Let's see. Okay, that's sort of a bit of a trick. An aerial attack and then immediately followed by a swipe to get in two quick hits. Okay. Let's see, does the toad do anything to him? Uh, it's just going to completely miss him. Not like he is going to miss us. Okay, have a... Have a toad. Yeah, he doesn't want the toad. He's seen enough, Mario. <laughs> okay. Have another. <laughs> okay, that actually breaks through him. Oh, uh, okay, at least there's no contact damage. Okay, that didn't do it this time. So let's just remove that. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. oh, here we go. Now he's getting dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> Come on. Oh. No. Okay, that one also doesn't work at the moment at least. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for the bacon. Nope. Oh. No. Oh, come on. One more hit. Uh, no, you don't. And there we go. Okay, we got closer this time and we know what spells do and don't work. What, no Wait. quip this time? <laughs> Wait, were you able to see how much health he had remaining? Uh, no, but I'm guessing with the once he starts throwing fire, that he is at least halfway. Hmm, by the him. 
Mm. Actually, let's go with the big one. Yeah, that, that is sure to hit him. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt there. Oh, hello again. I doubt there is something specific that we need to kill him. It's just a matter of dodging and <laughs> not getting hit. And yeah, since we got that, save so we don't have to go get it again. Okay, let's go see them. It even sounds like a freaking dentist drill. And miss. Uh, got to fight Demonic Leomon again then. Nope. Invisible thing could help at the moment. Like an extra passive skill, extra healing potion. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to have to fight better. Uh, that door is closed. And the other rooms here have nothing else hidden in them. Or at least as far as we can tell. Still not trusting that uh, very close blood moon. Uh, actually, screw all of you. Oh, it di okay. It okay. Bit curious that it didn't kill the archers. Dreadful rag. Hmm. Okay, this time let's try. A stupid ghost! At least we got a. Another a blunderbuss. And over here... Iron and Elm. <laughs> okay, so not as uh, important as we thought. What's here then? Lethal boots. Yep. Wrong button. Let's see. Wait, wait mm. the boots are weapons. Assassin's boots, there are knives concealed inside. Yeah, that's not going to be any more powerful than what we have, so we can go around again. This makes me curious. Uh, no, we don't have access to downstairs there yet. Uh, curious for what? What if it means the thing? Him. Doing what? A blunt bus, you shoot with it. Yeah. Uh, we could try uh, using a gun uh, with some of the higher ammos to see how that does. That's what I'm thinking, like, not be good at the Yeah, certainly once he starts throwing around a fire blast. Are you upset that I shaved my beard? <laughs> uh, no, no, I just had a Sean Connery moment. Shaver Williams. Wait, where is the same point? It's up ahead. Oh. 
It's it's right across from the, the boss room. Uh. Uh, I should probably not die before I get there. Spy hold on a second. Spiral swords. Okay, but it deals less damage again. <laughs> okay, but that is a nice little effect. I don't think I would count that as a sword. I would count, I think I would count, count as a rotating things or club or something. Like a rotating spike baton. Oh, okay, that the pig does a lot of damage, but that could be because he's vulnerable to crushing damage. I almost put my to you there. And there we go. Yeah, not worth my time. Okay, let's see. Blunderbuss. It's less damage than what we have, but we can put these on. Let's see. Penetrate with no penetrating capability. Using hunting good for inflicting damage. Okay, we'll see how this does. Stop. No, oh, 31. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, these do use ammo, so we have a limited supply. Wait, how? Why did that do? Okay, he's going to start guarding, isn't he? Oh, already? Okay. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Okay, the pig does a good amount of damage, surprisingly. Well, you're all clear and trying to pig at him. Oh, come on. <laughs> he got squeezed. <laughs> Okay, we, are we are we going to pull through because of bacon? <laughs> yeah, we we only have two. Uh, let's just let's just chip away at his health. Uh, <laughs> and immediately when we try, we die. Okay, but we know <laughs> we we know the pigs do a lot of damage now. Indeed. And wait, did we did we try the tentacle on him? Uh, no. That came out wrong, but I hope people understand what I mean. Yeah, but I, pres I presume it won't do as much damage. Uh, though, it did seem to deal crush damage to the knight. Or maybe its health was just low enough to be able to get killed by it in one hit. Okay, we'll try the tentacles. And 
Then we'll go back to the pigs. <laughs> Okay, uh, only 61 damage. The pigs will do better. <laughs> Pig to the forehead. <laughs> Yeah, that was you know, just a lesser attempt, since, well, <laughs> the tentacles put us in place for a bit, which got him in a free hit. Okay, last time, hopefully, because I don't want to get stuck on this guy forever. Yeah, because we have to go to somewhere else, or it might be too early for us to face him, perhaps. Uh, I doubt that. This is where the game is pointing us. All of the other areas here have been see we can't get through. This one is this one is uh, sealed at the other side. Uh, this is where the carriage is. This one was the door that requires the warhorse key. So yeah, this is where we need to go. Actually, I saw something on that. Uh, you mean this one? Yeah. That's the that's the blood pool. That we that's sealed off from below. All right. It looks like there were some other areas turned the way back, but all we can we can do some exploring after this one. In case we have missed something. Yep, he <laughs> he flew straight into that one. Up, oh, that was a complete miss. <laughs> Where did it go? Oops. Okay, yeah, that's that's just him giving us a free hit on the back. It, it might just be better to just outright fight him so far and just keep dodging. Because, yeah, he's going to start dodging those. Yeah, I better use those hits a bit more wisely. We should probably just make more of them when we can. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, you're the fool for leaving your back exposed. Yeah, for those attacks, we just need to run away, because otherwise he's just going to hit us. Okay, I think we got close that time. Yeah. Uh, hmm. So, yeah, just throw pigs in his face when he's charging, <laughs> and when he goes flaming, just run away when he's going for a big one. Hmm. Let's see how long. Okay, we're at an hour, and I hope not, at least not half of that has been just getting our asses kicked by this guy. Um, no, 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 no. Nah, not an half an hour. But yeah. If this keeps up, I would say it's more further back in case we missed something. 
Oh crap, oh, I'm body blocking us. Oh, yeah, got to run away from. Oh, no, 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 fuck you! Yeah, we can get hurt by both the blade slash and the explosion with those. So yeah, if we if he has us cornered with that, we are done for. Like that. <sighs> yeah. Some people are probably going to get annoyed with this, but. You're not be you're not supposed to be able to kill these bosses so easily. Yeah. So okay. Let's take a good look at the map to see if we can explore somewhere we've not been to further back. Blocked. 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 Out of reach. Out of reach. Oh. Out of reach. Oh. There is the water area, but we can't jump out of the water. Though there, there is... what is all of this? Is that... that's the boat again. But we've seen... we've explored all of the boat except for this room up here. I think. And there's no entrance into this. There is... Hmm. Okay, where is there a room designated here if there's no entrance? There's a room, there's a room. And this perhaps as well? Okay, we're we're close to the teleporter anyway, so let's go take a look. If there is nothing, then we can just die and respawn. Yeah, perhaps we can even buy some potions while we move there. Yeah. Actually, that might actually be a damn good idea to buy potions, but that should make things easier. Yeah, and maybe better equipment if it is there. Yeah. Got a new ta Here's what I've turned up on. No new targets. And the Dolans own the ship, though. Hmm. Are you eating properly? Okay. <laughs> so, what will it be? Uh, let's see. We can't make any potions. Is there a weapon that we can make that's stronger than the claymore? That's this one, but then it's going to be slow. That it that one is a big one though, but it would also be slow, but wait, I don't remember this one being here before, and it uses obsidian. So yeah, I'm guessing this is one of the obsidian recipes. Uh, that one is stronger, and if it is a samurai sword, it may not be as slow. Yeah. So let's I'll make that. This. And yeah, but we actually not even given um, these swords a try yet. Like let's see. This one gives defend more defense and constitution, which hopefully ups the <clears throat> up the, ups the max health as well. Let's it see. also gives you force the fire rate. Yeah. Let's see. Two sixty maximum HP. No difference. Okay then. Uh, let's make one of these I'll just for survival. Ooh, I like it. Uh, okay, we have sec a second stage of potion. Not that we have the stuff to make that at the moment. Mm. 
And we don't have the materials to make the uh, <laughs> wannabe <laughs> soul reaver now. Toy shoes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> shoes that emit an adorable squeak with each step. What the heck? Would need rat teeth and durable leather. Okay, we know where to find rats, but not leather. Nothing new in all of those. Alfred was your master, wasn't he? Former master. Why? I don't know. I was just wondering if you remember anything about him that I don't. Fair enough. As I recall, he was studying ways of drastically slowing down objects. He was a genius, to be quite honest. But I have no respect for that now. Why not? Because he fought against sacrificing you right to the final moment. Only to change his mind like a coward. I see. Thank you. Okay, so he... He didn't want to sacrifice her. But decided to... Or started pushing for sacrificing her at the last minute. Okay, that's a bit odd. Yeah, that is quite odd. So he did look a bit unstable. Yeah. Uh, I have something new to offer you. What are you looking to buy? Uh, let's buy one of these for safe. Let's buy a few it's of these a actually issue. for safety. Yeah, and potions. And a lot of materials. We should probably check what food we can buy, since the first time you eat the food, it gives you a permanent uh, stat boost. Yeah. So we'll take a look at the recipes, see if we can bump us up a bit more. Yeah, this, yeah, it's only one extra defense, and it would lower some of our resistances. No better armor at the moment. Wait. How would this upgrade our... This would upgrade our attack by 10? <laughs> How? Or, this oh, it would be by removing this one. Because this is lowering our attack for extra defense. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Come back any time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, take a look at the food recipes when we can. Yeah. Hmm. It is quite a bit. It's a. It is a better stat. Uh, it gives us more stats than it takes with this, but it is defensive, so it would take us longer to kill things. Yeah, it can be a... Yeah. Don't you wonder if that's a real benefit or not. Yeah, for now though, I think we will stick with it. Uh, because, yeah, it's more of a case of surviving the attacks. Surviving the attacks. Let, yes. Let's see, how does this thing actually... Okay, it's a bit slower. I think, but it'll still do. Yeah, as long as it does better damage than the other one. What are you looking to buy? Let's see, do we... Okay, we can't buy any... <clears throat> we can't buy any rice here, but let's buy Is at least rice? one of these. Is this many thanks? Is this many thanks? Is this rub any 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 thanks? Is this rub thanks? Thank you. All right, then let's go check on the harvest. I'm guessing there's probably an in-game timer for that. Uh, for how long you're away. We'll be harvesting in no time. Uh, a timer that hasn't fully <laughs> gone off yet, apparently. I just bought that lamb. See you. So, what'll it be? Okay, butter. 
soda water. Let's see how... Are these just ingredients? Yeah, these are just e other ingredients. Nothing... Not for actual foods yet. Wait. Why do you turn the page for it? Hmm. Oh, the store. It says there, first time boat. Oh, there. Yeah, these oh. are just extra ingredients that we can make from all of these. Yeah, but it... Okay, if we go back one step again, and so I noticed something. This one? Alright, never mind, I thought uh, wrong there. I thought that was in the corner where resistance. Okay, I saw mean, soda. But it is on the tree then. Let's see, is there anything here that we can make? Okay. Let's take a proper look here. The red bean. One red bean paste, and we can make that. I'll go with this. I think this will cost us. Oh, a. I'm guessing that's the shard that's been implanted into her, on her back all this time. Uh, yeah, now that we made that, we're out of sugar, but we can get get that. It, it's only an, one extra luck, though, so that uh, might not have oh been yeah. actually worth it. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's take a proper look at the food that we want to eat, and then see what recipes we can get for it. Yeah, we like, need rice for these. We just need rice for all of these. Uh, so Thomas, yeah. How was it you figured out a way to stop the crystal from corrupting me? I hate to say it, but I borrowed a bit from Alfred's research. He was studying ways to slow down objects. My attempts only worked when I placed Enochian script equivalent to what he chose in the same circular pattern. Uh I think I understand. Sort of. <laughs> Do you now? I understand that you're far smarter than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a poor teacher, apparently. Okay. Yeah, we probably wasted a bit of our money there. Yeah. By not looking at what we want to cook first. No, no, by not looking at what the things actually gave us. So yeah. let's see. What are you looking to buy? Can we buy potions from you? Yes, we can. Is we can buy can one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh dear. But we are a bit better equipped now. Yep. So, let's give it another try. Well, do you supposed to be doing more damage against those, or...? Different type of damage. Alright, Trevor. And I was really worried that the defense ring was nerfing your attack so much. Normally, when I see weapons that do bonus attack defense but minus its attack or injury form of that, I just didn't ignore them. Wait, okay. Okay, this one's doing only one damage to us now, so it is it is actually giving us quite a bit. Well, so I don't know how much damage it dealt earlier. Oh, come on, I thought you died there. Yeah, he gave you six damage. How much did they usually do? I think that one did 17 before, so it is a, f a full 10 damage less. Okay, let's give this another try and hopefully get through this time. Let's check our hats. Yeah. I must have realized. The weapon slot has two slots. Yeah, one is for the ammo with uh, the oh. blunderbusses here. And here I was to say, you really? Okay, that's Lord McGee. Yeah. Let's keep it to me. Let's keep it to melee during this. I. Okay, his attack damage isn't that down that much. Yeah, ours looks to be halved, so... Yeah, I'm guessing the ring is useless for this. 
Yeah, let's just die for that stupid ring off. Yeah, the amount of damage he deals against how much it it reduces our damage isn't worth it. So the, the silly ears go back on. Yeah, not total damage now. 21 is total damage. Yeah, it lowered our damage by a full 15 or so. Or no, and it was dealing 10 damage, so 11 damage was taken off. Okay, let's deal with the Skyrim Guard again. Until he changes up, we are only doing melee. No, we were dealing like 8 damage earlier. And for, for some reason his attacks actually seem to be doing less damage. So maybe his attacks are defense de dependent or something? Yo, come on! I think the sword might have a bit less reach. Oh, okay. Okay, to the pigs with you. Oh, come on, how it did that hit me behind him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only way I can think of that... No, that, that's not going to help dodge things much. Is the slide attack. Maybe to get underneath some of his attacks. Stop. Yeah, I want to try and end this stream... After this fight, at the very least. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I still have the stupid ring on. Away with you, you useless thing. I walked into that one. Yep. How did he miss me there? You don't actually have that much mobility to dodge things. You have the backstab here. But other than that, you're more likely to run into an attack if you're trying, trying to run away. Yeah, and don't forget the hero tower. Yeah. Oh. I don't have the hero tower. Ah.
Okay, that time he didn't hit me while I was behind him. There we go! Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, here we go. His voice sounds f kind of familiar. Yeah. How many I times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. Wait, is this fucking solid snake? Oh, it kind of looks like him. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. <laughs> yeah, it is fucking snake! <laughs> I've, I've... And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. Maybe it's maybe it isn't him, but it is very very similar. And also, Domin did Dominique know that Alfred was here? Then why didn't she tell me or tell us? That or did she be informed about it later? <sighs> I apologize for my acquaintance. He had no right to speak to you like that. But if he if he is here hunting for Alfred, and she is his liaison, or hmm. something else. Uh, connecting them to the church, then that suggests that she knew that he w that Elfwood was here already. Also, I'm seeing a pretty big uh, <laughs> sensor, no, not sensor, uh, texture line in the middle of the screen here with the the art. Not how would you even call it? The blue, the blue stone. There's a pretty big texture line in down running down the middle of it. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam, and nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east, in the tumult of a decade ago. Perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. Well, second to flying bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. Okay, and back to the healing point, to the save point. Okay, in the meantime though, let's have a little look here. Save, yes. I am the B. Blood stained. No, not blood shot, blood stained. Why is this autocorrecting to bloodshot? <laughs> there we go. Yes, save. Which of the night.
Okay, let's see. Johannes Zengetsu. Wait. Okay, that's an, a Japanese voice actor. Let's see, not in the cast. Oh yeah, Hiroku Yasumoto. Okay, I could have sworn that was... Okay, he sounds very similar to Solid Snake. And Actually, would there be a very big uh, benefit to have a voice actor that is very fluent in English and Japanese? Yeah. Which would mean he could do both versions of both translations. Yep. So, what is the name of the voice actor for Snake? Great. Is this is this actually the real cast? Because it's it says that the voice actor for Miriam is it's all of these are is this for the Japanese dub or some or the Japanese version? Okay, now I just need to look this up on TV Tros because I don't think this is actually the it's TV tropes. There we go. Uh, characters, no. F f piss off with your cookies. Piss off with your cookies. I, I hate that they're trying to trick people nowadays with consent and then legitimate interest, as if. I'm pretty sure that if you agree to that legitimate interest, they'll still give you all of these in the ads and stuff for that. And you have to manually get throws through some of these. Like, it's I just hope they make it illegal one day to have those kind of cookies. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I am. I am. IMDB was giving the Japanese voice actors. Because the English voice actor is David Hayder, and he is, yep, Metal Gear. Yep. So it is Snake. Yep. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, so far of the voice acting you're hearing, I hear. They are basically the big ones, or the ones you know will show up in a game or an animal game uh, as a voice actor. Yep. Holy Poly Cat again. Okay, so both of those give steel. No. Okay. okay, that that dodge was accidental. It's not as slow as you said. Or thought. It's got swift. Okay, you just need to dodge him when he finally does decide to use it. Hello. Okay, more ammo. Does that nice? We haven't had to reload, so maybe that is how many bullets of type we can. Hold on, who are you? Uh, how many bullets of a type we can carry in total? Oh, Oi, wait cool. a minute. Are you human? Oi! <laughs> what does it look like? I I'm not sure. Your body is covered with weird decorations. <laughs> Finally, someone who pull uh, points out the tattoos. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. Oh, Paris. <laughs> Never been to Spain. Oh, fuck. Your name's Benjamin. Uh, I'm Miriam. Benjamin, you shouldn't be here. I know, I know. But I'm so scared I can't even stand up. You're standing now, jackass. <laughs> Paris is not in Spain. Damn. I just want to go home. Hmm. Do I have any items that could help get him home? You accidentally were prepared for this! Yep. This, this will help me escape. 
Yes. Picture your house, and don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. And poof. I think it worked. Actually, that's the same effect that Alfred had, was, had earlier, so he was also using a waystone. And Hola. a big, <laughs> big boost of experience from that. And money. And I recognize the Hazel voice acting, but good God, oh, that character was not right. I'm and guessing. Again, Oh, I'm guessing his last name isn't. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing his full name isn't Benjamin Bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. We can try this. Nodachi. Okay, it does not work with your sword, but you can make a Nodachi. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Again. Yeah, we have. We we haven't gotten those we haven't gotten that to work with the rape here in the last string. So it could just be of course that I'm absolutely failing to pull it off and that thing's blocked. Okay. Like uh, I forget I forget the name of the character, but come on, get over here. Piss off. Piss off, ghost. I said piss off, don't say uh, <laughs> Summon ghost. And an elk Elkast, okay. Okay, that could be as well. Uh, right, that was being safe to say here. He reminds me of a thing I heard a while ago. Years ago now. That they made a test in USA. And... I think it was something about 70% of those Americans in a test of 10 more than the people who I recall something similar like people being asked in Las Vegas like how many Eiffel Towers there are and some said there were 11. Maybe it's 11 if, the, if, if you count the old Eiffel Tower lookalikes. So, well, you, you see we Vegas, they have their own fake Eiffel Tower. But, yeah. Um, what the? I guess the uh, Wicked Witch of the uh, West had a fling with some sort of bug. <laughs> and I, I, com I completely missed what this area was called Killer Barber. Uh, the heck is that? I think I know what that is a reference to. Those uh, rolling wheel demons that everyone hates in demons in Dark Souls. Jack the Ripper. Uh, I, I think we're what? speaking of the different things now because uh, I was uh, speaking uh, of the blind headed thing. I was thinking of uh, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd I was thinking about, not Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Booer. Okay, that thing seems to be entirely dependent on its own momentum. Actually, that's an actual demon from the Bible. Okay. Oh. Not needed, but still nice. Yeah. Kind of surprised, but not many people would take demons from there, since well, you know how that would be. Okay, those killer barbers are going to be a bit of pest to figure out for now. And a uh, very eager doggy. <laughs> yeah, th these things are going to only going to be as dangerous as the area they are in. Because I was basically just hitting myself there. And uh, hello. Poltergeist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can't have a, a gothic themed game without a poltergeist sooner or later. <laughs> uh, 
And now we're going to be paranoid of all the things that have like, yep. all the concept of things that have a woman with a rose as an eye patch. Painful. Yeah, at least she has a, a rosy outlook on life. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> that was one big ass bat. <laughs> Are, are these portal guys just going to be random? And what is this? And the hell is that thing up there? I think it's the thing that makes any sounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Actually, we don't have any of these left. Okay, that was... A, it's a Banshee of sorts. It looks like a mix between a Banshee and a Crowbogan or something. Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Uh, at least we didn't lose anything there. But beside your dignity... Yeah, that was lost ages ago. True. Oh, right, you had a simple there. I forgot that. Okay, easy enough to deal with these things again. Actually, I can just plain ignore them. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm guessing it sets which of these are poltergeist and which not. Yeah, once you learn which one it is, you simply remember that from there on. Okay, that is, this is going to be a thing later, that's pretty much ensured. Oh. Ah. Triggered the other poltergeist. At least those those killer barbers don't deal much damage yeah. and die easily enough. But go to the go to the only fire diver. Yeah, but that's a door. There you go. Can you be cool? What can you use to cool? Hmm. I said, can you be cool? Stop the music. You haven't seen the build, have you? Uh, no, I've not seen it, but I know of them. Okay, and watch out if it latches onto the ceiling, because it's going to do a freaking combo. Yeah! But I'm not a fan of musicals, but Swim Talk is one of the few musicals I did like. The only problem with the voice is you know, easier to watch than most musicals. Okay, there's going to be something with these silver panels and well just getting into this place whatever that may be can't reach up there oh that looks big okay the ancient uh, cathedral probably butchered that and hello kitty bad kitty is that Nope. Wait. I think that's uh... Wait, no. <laughs> okay, what was that? Let, let's pause and take a look what the hell that was. The image yes. put made me think of a bunny. Near bomb. What is this? Where? Uh, here. Yeah, <laughs> a reanimated cat that perished inside the castle and has a grudge to settle. Uh, <laughs> it's literally a demon cat. <laughs> but uh, well, cat, that's, it, that's it been fed steroids. Oh, good God. Oh, uh, speaking of demons. Just an outright demon. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Just get lost, Vieri Zabozo. Oh god, hit hellhound. Probably. Okay, finally again a passive short. Increase your int. The intelligence is what well affects our magic attacks. Uh, no, it's not a hellhound, it's a hellcat. It's a poor dog. It it looks like a dog with a human skull for a head. Okay, let's take a look at that afterward. Dance Why? mask. Okay. Uh, let's see, where is that thing? Four dogs. 21. Yeah, that's a demon. A fire yeah, it... of of rocking flesh. So it is a dog. Yeah, with <laughs> with a human skull. Uh, I'd say that both makes me think of a Tasmanian tiger, which is kind of dog like. Though, yeah, yeah the head. Why? Okay, more defense. Okay, pretty nice, even though it hovers like three inches off of her face. When it hides it, then slices it. And you look very really fashionable. A fashionable pirate. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of wine. A demon! Uh, Wait, I'm a good killer barber. Eh? If what? this guy's is this if this guy is named Sweeney or Todd. Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Another voice that sounds somehow familiar. Then why not yeah, cast them aside? Yeah, and you're the death. Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> The name's Tom. <laughs> the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there. Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. Wait, we can we can change her hair? That is not an enticing offer. <laughs> no, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm, I really could. <laughs> All right, you have a deal. <laughs> So, miss, shall I take a little of the top? <laughs> oh, oh, come on, it's a full. Wait. <laughs> I just fell out of the floor and tried. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can even just change her hair color completely. <laughs> okay, I'm more impressed now with it's game, but. God. Is that you did not break me again? <laughs> Apparently I don't even have to try again these days. <laughs> but this time I'm crying. I'm actually crying of laughter. <laughs> the only time I cried of laughter was also from that metal a joke from Brutal Action. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, but you painted it, cause... Oh, you can only repaint it, damn it. Yeah. Who well, thought you could, you know, change it as well, but who knows, maybe... But it is a hair... Wait. It's a hair salon. Then why are you dying that... Well, no. <laughs> yes. 
I'm looking for a possible complete whites on this. Then it's, if I remember right, you want saturation zero. Something I learned from this guy, yeah. Okay, this sort of works. Yeah, you probably Wait. want color zero as well. Yeah, that doesn't seem to have any effect really, and it goes from 360 up to. We're down to zero. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, let's cancel that a bit. And then just no. Wait, that ma that made it a bit darker. There we go. That's the white. Okay. And what's this about trim style? It. Oh, it's changing the colors. Let's see. Brown and yellow, a bit cream-ish. Black and cream. Red. Mm, let's go with this. That's trim style 11. How many of these are there? A lot. <laughs> uh, let's go with this one, actually. Okay. We can even change our eye color. Eye color skin. <laughs> okay. I'm getting very more impressed by this game. The look suits you fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just mess. Let's just not mess with her too much before things get silly. You mean like his name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, don't break it again. No, <laughs> no. Okay, let's head back for heels and to see if there's anything new. Because you have to be stepping up your game here. No games. Well, okay. Game has won. One of the games has so far stolen your. Turned up on the monsters. Kill a Help pour to the cattlemen rest in peace. Kill those murderers. Okay, it is going to get a bit annoying how she constantly says the same thing, except for the first part. Dan the wheelwright, rest in peace. Okay, we just can we can just skip it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Shield outsider. Help Edward the Smith rest in peace. Got any target? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Assassins. Okay. Help Sean the merchant rest in peace. Uh, how's the rice harvest going? I'd say about ready. I finished the harvest. Here's your share. That's still uh, that's still quite a lot, even wait, from wait, such a small wait, patch. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have enough? Yeah. To... Can you plant this? Sure. We have enough to make some foods. I hope I hope we're not replacing rice and just have all of them. Oh. Unless we need to upgrade the farm. But hi, yeah. Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? Let's see if we can. Bubble our now. Yeah. Great. Hey, Chinese noodles. Uh, those are not the food yet. Let's see. Soy sauce, urchins, black pepper, and apples. Soy sauce. Hmm. Yeah, we can only really make the rice balls for now, it seems. Tell me, what exactly is the Liber Logoyeth? A book written by an alchemist named John Dee. It's written in Enochian script, which is said to be the language of angels. The book has the power to summon good spirits. But demons are not good spirits. Power is power. If you can summon good spirits, 
and all it takes is some changes to the structure of the right to summon something else entirely. So if we could get our hands on it, we could yeah, basically ring up God and go, uh, Hey, can you help ple clean this shit up? <laughs> As long as it doesn't end sense. up as a, Few researchers come uh, up as a Quasar series. <laughs> Would it be an actual Deus Ex Machina if you literally just go phone God? That or as they said, angels? They... I wonder... Says this, I saw those themes earlier. Did they do the earlier depictions of a Seraphim? And if you want to mean, seraphims were not always angel shaped. Yeah, early angels were like impossible geometric things, I think. Yeah, yeah, how it, the original form of a angelic uh, seraphim was a big burning serpent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot less, a lot different from what you expect you read in the books to do it today. Did you yeah. bring it? That's it. How did you know? Oh, oh I can't wait to try it. Well, we knew because you're literally just painting it on the freaking wall. Oh, it's delicious. Uh, save some for me. You've already just had some. <laughs> Feel a little better. Thank you, Miss. I like the voice acting. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. Oh, you did give a rice kick because it gives you a four and whip. Yeah. Why? You know what? I don't want to ask why she had that. I'm just going to presume it's from her previous occupation. I did not want that and so. Oh, wait, I can't strangle with strangle the mic. Anything else you'd like to eat? But at least I've grabbed my like, my both hands. Hang it all. I can't remember what it's called. I'll help you figure it out. Something irresistible. It's round and top with something gooey and stretchy. And it, as a reward, we get uh, Morpheus's glasses. <laughs> I suppose I'll stick around and wait a little while that? longer. Pizza. Damn it. Now I want some. Hi, Miriam. What are we transmuting this time? Let's see, is there anything new that we can make an FP? Okay, this is official. We shall not watch Samurai Pizza Cat. We shall not watch it. <laughs> okay, that's going to the top of the watch list. No! There are some... No, not really new things. Yeah, actually, you know... Yeah, let's screw it, let's go with this I'll thing. Go with this. Ooh. I like it. See if you can get a shot to try all your weapons at some point. Uh, it's kind. Like so, Johannes, this. You and Dominique Not like every single one, but each time. Yeah. Yes. She's risked much to help us, despite her position in the church. For example, she arranged for the galleon that took us here. Okay. And she gave us use of one of her homes. That was where you first woke up. Why would she be so kind? I don't know. But she seems interested in alchemy. She even helped me develop the right that stopped the crystal from overtaking you. As far as I'm concerned, she took us in after the guild's destruction when no one else would. And has allowed me to continue in my research. We owe her a huge debt. We do. Okay. I please, please don't make her evil. Please. 
for once have a generous soul helping out. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but that will have to wait for next time. Because we are as good as at two hours. Uh, overtime. No, hmm? wait. no, not overtime. No, <laughs> no not overtime. Something wrong. And all right, right then. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just loving all of the little quality of life and really unneeded bits in this game, like <laughs> fucking Sweeney Todd. <laughs> like being able to completely alter your character. Well, okay, that I did not expect, and they, that they totally didn't have to put in. That maybe that was a stretch goal or something. I don't. Was this actually? I'm, I think it was on Kickstarter. As it is, they really put heart and soul into this, and I hope if the real all sequels are looked, they have done the same to them. Yeah, I I saw something about that here on the TV tropes page. Uh, let's see, going to try and avoid any possible spoilers. Yeah, Kickstarter campaign, five and a half million raised. Okay. If it's they really want it, then again, yeah, that much money tells me they don't need to do a Kickstarter next time, probably. Yeah, it depends on how many, how much te team they need to use. Okay, apparently those Bloodstained Curse of the Moon games that I saw in the. Uh categories tab with OBS apparently those are a, a spin-off from this game spin-off? okay yeah. we, but we it, the list. it also says that uh, the ones that made it Inti Creates left development of this game not sure if that's supposed to mean the parsley through or just after they finish this, they left to do their own thing after the spin-off games. But I'll, I'll be looking them up. I'll be seeing what else they've been doing, and maybe we'll see it. Uh, <coughs> maybe we'll see it streamed someday. But we have quite a bit of a list already to go through. Yeah, we do. It was always good to keep adding to our list, so we don't have. You know, the moment we're wondering what else we're supposed to do. Yeah, but we sure also shouldn't make it too long so we can't even pick what we would want to stream. Yeah. Because at that point you get to... I forget the specific term. Uh, I, th I think it's called choice paralysis. Like where if you give someone the ability... If you ask someone to pick between two cards, they'll, they'll just pick a card. But if you hold up 26 cards for them to choose... Uh, then it will take them a lot longer to pick it something. It's basically uh, give uh, someone too much choice, and they'll get stuck wondering what to do. Yeah, I know that too well. For I'm suffering it daily. For it's kind of what preventing me from drawing manga nowadays. Okay, not sure what to do next. Do you have too many ideas to do next? The latter, too many ideas. Okay. I'm not sure if this advice would really help, but maybe try sketching a few ideas. Uh, not not completely drawing them, but just uh, drawing sketches. And then just uh, seeing if any among those just speak to you at the moment. I, I'm yeah. not an artist at all, so take that I with uh, a whole barrel of salt. I, this. I, I used to do that, like work on several sketches and art pieces at once. But then I just... They were, which you should start with became too much and I couldn't pick which to start with at all. Mm. I have done small practice sketches to get started, but mm. Mm. I might oh get well. the integral again someday. So basically, writer's block for artists. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see who is actually watching this at the moment. Uh. Three of which look like you know, bots because these always show up, especially Twitch, Growth, Discord, that's just 
again if not a bot sorry to speak up uh, but if you do not speak up i'll start ignoring you with time the only one that i see here who could possibly be a real person is another tv viewer so thank you for viewing this possibly on your tv possibly not <laughs> and of course special thanks as always to the oh, you're most welcome uh yeah <laughs> next time more bloodstained reach of the night i uh, so far i'm thinking we will just go three days with three times with this in a week uh, because it's just too freaking entertaining and good you just want to see me hear me uh, break apart again don't you uh, that would also help and <laughs> I'll try to not get as stuck on bosses as we were with this time. Um, if, I, if ever at the stream I get stuck on a boss, I'll probably just make a different save to, you know, to practice fighting them on. And after I figured out how they work, then I'll just use the, or the, the stream save to, well, hopefully kick their ass on screen instead of getting my own ass kicked. Yeah, you also said you were to uh, maybe sometime grind off screen? Maybe. We'll have to see. Because so far, <laughs> despite getting our asses kicked by. Uh, I've already forgotten his name somewhere. Z, I'll just call Zangetsu. him. Zangetsu. Zangetsu, yep. I'm pretty sure that's a, a, like an anime attack call out or something with Naruto. But we're getting off topic. Once again, anyone who's been watching, I thank you, and until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for bats. And giant mothmans. <laughs>